Few works by Andy Mickey, whether from his early career while living in Whale Cove or made after his move to Arviat in 1969, are as large and imposing as Arctic Hare. Mickey is probably best known for his small enigmatic or quirky animal carvings, but there were clearly times when he was moved to create larger works with true sculptural presence. Several important works come to mind from Mickey's Whale Cove years, including Dog in the Canadian Museum of History collection and Caribou Head in the collection of the Art Gallery of Vancouver. Of the works that we are familiar with, only Dog is marginally larger than Arctic Hare. Mickey seems to have carved fewer large works in Arviat. Notable ones include two fine abstract sculptures from circa 1973, each titled Animal Figure. The style of Mickey's Whale Cove sculptures is relatively naturalistic compared to works from his Arviat period, but it is clear that the artist's vision was already headed towards a quite radical stylization of form and minimalist detail. It is for this very reason that Arctic Hare is an impressive sculpture. Carved in a naturalistic style, it would simply have been a large bunny. In his essay in the Winnipeg Art Gallery's Eskimo Point Arviat catalog, George Swinton famously declared that John Panyark, Mickey's fellow Arviat minimalist, was doubtlessly the Brancusi of the North. We would humbly suggest that the honor should go to Andy Mickey. Needless to say, Mickey never knew of Brancusi. The striking, pristinely abstract, sometimes monumental, and always charming animal forms he carved were completely his own invention, his gift to Inuit art. <laughs>